Energy Day 2017, it's our biggest, most diverse Energy Day yet. Our seventh year to host Energy Day here in downtown Houston. We gave out almost $27,000 in awards to K through 12th graders, over 160 award winners this year from K through 12th grade. They team up, they get creative, they get thoughtful, and they make things like remote controlled vehicles that could change the way we do things. This is the future right here. There's a lot of experiments we can do, and I like the hands-on instead of just writing notes all day. You actually get to do hands-on stuff. I'm almost at 500. This bike, it takes the mechanical energy from this, turns it into electrons, and so you can see how many watts you're making. And this just charges your phone portably. An event like this not only offers them the opportunity to get out of their neighborhood and see what is possible, but also what careers are available, what a STEM education can do to better their lives and to better our community. This is going to greatly impact a lot of the instructional materials, um, science materials that we lost because of Hurricane Harvey. It's very creative. It's not the future, and I want them to be in STEM and engineering and things. I like to see the possibility in their eyes. So we are getting ready to have this next generation of students that is going to create something that's not even known yet. And this is the spark that's going to make it happen. Join Consumer Energy Alliance and the Consumer Energy Education Foundation next year on October 20th, 2018 for our 8th annual Energy Day Festival. For more information, go to energydayfestival.org.